Today, we're going to discuss a fundamental yet often misunderstood concept in Christian theology, the first death according to the Bible. Five-Minute Bible Lesson Understanding what the first death means provides insight into the nature of human existence, mortality, and our hope for the future. Let's dive into the scriptures to explore this profound topic. The first death is essentially the physical death that all humans experience. It's the end of our earthly life and the beginning of a different state of existence. To understand this better, let's start at the beginning, literally the book of Genesis. Genesis 2, 16-17 says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Here, God warns Adam that disobedience will lead to death. This introduces the concept of death as a consequence of sin. After Adam and Eve disobey God, they introduce sin into the world, and with it, death. Genesis 3.19 states, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. This passage emphasizes the inevitability of physical death as a direct result of the fall. Human beings are mortal, and our bodies will eventually return to the earth. The first death is not just an Old Testament concept. The New Testament also provides insight into its nature and significance. Romans 5.12 states, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned, this verse reaffirms that physical death is a result of sin and affects all humanity. The New Testament also offers hope and a deeper understanding of death through the teachings of Jesus. In John 11, 25, 26, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Jesus speaks of a life beyond physical death, introducing the concept of eternal life for believers. This gives a new dimension to our understanding of the first death. It is not the end, but a transition. In Christian theology, the first death is also contrasted with the second death, as mentioned in Revelation. Revelation 20, 14 through 15 states, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The second death represents eternal separation from God, while the first death is the physical end of our earthly life. Understanding the first death helps us appreciate the full scope of God's plan for redemption. 1 Corinthians 15.22 says, For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. This verse highlights the promise of resurrection and eternal life through Christ, providing hope beyond our physical death. In summary, the first death is the physical death that all humans experience due to the introduction of sin into the world. It's a return to the dust from which we were made. However, through Jesus Christ, we have the promise of resurrection and eternal life, transforming our understanding of death from a final end to a new beginning. Thank you for joining me today as we explored the biblical concept of the first death. If you found this discussion insightful, please like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into scripture. Remember in Christ, death is not the end. It's the gateway to eternal life. Until next time, stay blessed and keep seeking the truth.